I don't know, to me it's always been like, I was never like a natural athlete. Like at no point was I like a kid to have like the crazy six pack and was never a very talented athlete in high school. So uh, I just remember sitting down with my dad one night and we were watching him, a Eve Herring fight. And I'm like, I want to do that. And, uh, I remember my dad's like all slumped over on the couch. He's like, he laughed at me and it kind of pissed me off. And I'm like, chubby little 14 year old kid. And, uh, like, what? <laughs> you think you could do that? So uh, I kind of looked back at him and I was like, yeah, yeah, I want to do that. My name is Nick Marcello. I'm a freestyle fighter. Um, to me, being a freestyle fighter doesn't necessarily mean having no style. It's more a matter of learning what works best for you as an individual and kind of implementing that in your everyday training. Um, East Coast Championships for the North American Grappling Association. It's the uh, biggest grappling tournament in the world. I've made it to the podium in the last three tournaments I've done. Uh, for me, this tournament means a lot. It's, it's pretty much the last time I'm gonna do a strict grappling tournament before I step back into the cage. It's just really important to me that I do well. Anybody can be good at fighting. It's just a matter of making it work for you. And to be honest with you, I, I love hating training. I, I, love working out and just being miserable and just pushing myself and like it sucks but knowing not everybody can do it and it's it's something something mental it, it, you don't need crazy good genetics you don't need anything really it's just the drive to push yourself you can be just as successful at 125 pounds as you can be at 200 pounds it doesn't matter anywhere in between you can just drive yourself mentally and that's that's what i really like about it the fact that i can be elite being average i put a mental a traditional karate class and he kind of took right to it he keeps saying he didn't have any natural ability but he took right to it and he showed some potential and he worked he worked hard I mean literally five six hours at a time just running push-ups and sit-ups jumping jacks and hitting the bag Inspiring. Inspiring with guys that he should not be fighting with. I mean, they were just outweighing him by 100 pounds easily. But he was knocking them out, so what am I gonna do? You know, put a 200 pound guy down, you gotta, apparently, you taught him something right.